Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Today's video is going to be a book review. I'm going to be reviewing My Name is Lucy Barton by Elizabeth Strout. So I'm going to give you the plot of the book and then my thoughts and feelings. This is a woman taking you on a journey through her memories. It's really like a patchwork of disjointed memories from her life. And she's kind of mid of middle age. So we start and she says, oh I remember there was a time in the 80s when I was in hospital and she was married, living in New York, had two children and she was in hospital and her husband was coming to see her and her children and she woke up one day and her mother was at the end of her bed but her and her mother had not seen each other in years and the book is really about her childhood and how that's shaped her as a woman her relationship with her mother and how that has shaped us as a woman and how our memories we kind of feel like we can run away from them and reinvent ourselves but they are always part of us they always attach to us in some way so a little bit about her life is that she grew up in a it's kind of like a small american town you get the feel of she was very poor they didn't have a lot of money and then she left that town didn't really see her parents or her siblings and went to New York and became a writer and she's very successful in present day but it's really focused around the time in the 80s when her mum came to visit her in that hospital and the conversations that she had with her mother, mother who she had not seen in years and her mother hadn't even like seen her youngest daughter so it's really about their connection and like a mother and daughter's fragile relationship but then it also goes into broader issues like the AIDS crisis in the 80s in New York and there's a man in her building who she really likes and he really like gives her so much knowledge and wisdom and then he dies of AIDS and it's about her seeing men walking around who were dying of AIDS and how that was just something that was like happening and around her and I found that really interesting because I'm like a child of the 90s I don't know anything about that really. You can like watch documentaries and stuff but you still don't get really the feel of it and how like HIV and AIDS was killing so many people. And so I thought that was like really moving and poignant the way she put that in to the story. And then it flits into her childhood memories, her relationship, her parents and hers, weird relationship let me just say there's no big blowout there's no big like this is why her and her parents don't talk anymore it's really just how over time you can grow away apart from people so she leaves home and she goes and lives like miles away from her parents and then they just become two separate people because her parents are kind of described as like hard-working working-class people and then she's gone into being like middle-class woman so it's different there's that kind of divide straight away and there's little things within the hospital like she's reading a magazine and her mum's like oh magazines are a waste of time because her mum didn't used to like read magazines and there's no massive like argumentative scene within it but it is so moving the whole plot and you feel like you're walking on eggshells with her conversations with her mum because their relationship is so fragile I felt like she was holding a piece of string and her mum was holding an, uh, another end of the string and it was like so fragile like if anyone pulls too much it's gonna snap if you let it loosen up too much it's gonna slip out of someone's hand like it oh I can't even describe it but it was so like interesting this dynamic and I feel like a lot of people have this dynamic with their parents where they don't have like a deep bond or connection with them and they don't really feel like they can talk to them and then just time passes and the more time that passes and you don't phone someone and see how they are that time doubles and triples until it's kind of run out of control and you become two separate people and it's very difficult to go back to where you were before also if she thinks about like to her childhood in her childhood her parents were working quite a lot and then her parents could be really volatile with her and her dad had been in the army and he'd come back and he obviously had post-traumatic stress and it was really bad and it says it's like the thing she used, they used to call it the thing as a child when this kind of anger would come over him and he just couldn't control himself and then he'd like uncontrollably cry about it and he was obviously very mentally ill but obviously as a child that's a terrifying thing to go through so it's not like they had a great relationship when she was a child where she can go do you know what mum let's go back to that time because they never really had a great relationship because their dad had this depression and then her mum would get really angry and just like snap out and they never had enough money and they were always like cold and so it's kind of like if you're from a difficult childhood and then as an adult you don't really connect with your parent what is the relationship there it's not really anything it just becomes a series of like 
phone calls once in a while and that's it which I think is like so sad I am very lucky that I have a very good relationship with my parents but I thought this was just such a great novel about like parent and child relationships especially if you go into a different kind of class system than what you were raised how sometimes it's difficult to like connect with your parents and her mum never asks her about like her job or what she does or anything like that because her mum just isn't interested in that and her mum never asks her about her children and stuff because it's almost like she wants her to be how she was when she was younger and that connection and that's it and now she's an adult she's a complete stranger to her she doesn't even want to know about that person because that person isn't even her daughter she can't even relate to that person at all oh it was like so so good such a good book the cover design is gorgeous let me just say and I don't normally talk about cover designs but I loved it because it's like a hospital window looking out of New York and I just thought that was really good it's just so like I cried I cried at certain moments because it was just it almost like takes the breath out of you at times how beautifully it is written and like I said there's not a massive explosive scene within it that it's all working up to that point it's not that at all and also the end isn't really it's not like tied up like oh and then they made up and then her mum moved in with her and everything was fine it's like no it's a struggle it's still a struggle and you really feel the like thickness in the air when they're talking and they're talking really normally they're talking about normal things but they just have no kind of connection at all it's like they're very disjointed with this but oh it is so good like i just could talk about it all day long because it's one of those books that's so interestingly written that you're just like oh this is gorgeous I absolutely loved it i loved when she was talking about herself as well and her writing and her relationship with her husband I loved the whole thing from start to finish every scene I adored I thought it was really interesting how she spoke about HIV and AIDS in New York in the 80s and there's a bit in the hospital where she's looking at she's in the hospital obviously because she's ill and she's looking at a man who has AIDS and he's dying and she's talking about like she couldn't stop looking at him because she's waiting in the hall outside and they're making this eye contact and how like to see someone with that much human suffering to going through that like out of respect you can't stop making eye contact with them you just feel like you've got to hold on like oh and then that kind of portrayed also within the relationship with her mum because it was like she loves her mum there is still love there this woman is her mum she loves her got to keep this connection but it it's so difficult it's so painful even though they're not having massive screaming arguments or anything it's just a painful process and I also felt like she was her mum was like a brick wall and she was continually trying to get through to her mum and she couldn't but then I didn't feel like her mum was a bad person I just thought she, she was a very different person and so it was difficult for them to connect on any kind of level oh it was so good <laughs> I'm gonna like go on and on and on read it it is absolutely beautiful stunning I adored it and that is it this is the end of my review but I cannot recommend this book enough it is beautiful it's perfect so that is it that is the end of this review tell me if you have read this book or anything else by this author and I'll see you again soon for another video